and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Rakdos Control now in best of one. We're going to be playing seven games with this deck as well over in Mythic and trying it out. So yeah, this this best of one deck is all about control. We just had we just played uh, the mono white aggro deck. Now we're going to be playing the black red control deck. Um, yes, yeah, so we have lots of removal including the two adventure creatures that are very good at removing things with Murderous Rider and Bone Crusher Giant. Um, but then besides that, we have good cheap removal for all the aggro you see in Best of One. We got Shock, Carnival, um, Legion's End. So good good cheap removal. We got Sweepers with Ritual of Suts, um, more flexible removal with Bedevil, and then even some, some removal for some bigger creatures with Epic Downfall. We get some Exile in here, so things like Wicked Wolf, uh, will be gone for good, and we don't have to worry about them. And then, so for, for winning the games, besides Murderous Rider and Bone Crusher Giant being able to attack, we're going to need some card advantage, because, you know, we're playing a control deck, we're playing a longer game, we're going to need that card advantage. Uh, we have our main source of card advantage here is Theater of Horrors. Now, with the Theater of Horrors, uh, you basically get to play, you know, an extra card every turn, but you have to be able to do damage to the opponent. In the late game, we'll be able to have the four mana to be able to spend to do one damage to the opponent um, to be able to to, to uh, trigger the Theater of Horror to be able to play stuff. But we also have other cards like Shock, Bone Crusher, Giant, Carnival. That's like really how Carnival is even more valuable, how it can do one damage to the opponent to turn on Theater of Horrors. Plus, we could also do the Carnage part of this card also and do three damage to them, make them discard a couple cards and turn on Theater of Horrors that way. Chandra's a lot easier to turn on. Chandra's gets us an extra card. Um, each turn and then we also have Karn the Great Creator because this is a best of one deck uh, We're gonna be going with the Karn the Great Creator package. I think this is a really strong best of one card Because it allows you to play a sideboard in best of one and you can have an extra 15 cards to kind of be able to choose from To be able to grab with Karn um, You know, we have like meteor golems over here for some more removal including removal for enchantments Which usually Rakdos can't deal with um, Stone Coil Serpent's just an awesome threat. Uh, you know, we have Golos that can ramp. We, we can go grab Chromatic Lantern to be able to trigger Golos also, um, or to be able to activate, I guess I should say. And then we also have a couple of cheaper things, you know, like a Grafter's Cage to stop Cauldron Familiar from coming back, uh, like a Golden Egg if we just need to gain three life and draw a card. So yeah, we got some Car and the Great Creators in here also. So let's see how it does. This is this is basically designed to try to fight small creature decks and have a lot of removal for small creature decks, um, and then try to try to win the a long game with these. That's basically what our decks designed to do. And there's a lot of small creature decks in best of one. So let's see how it works. So we'll go to standard ranked Rakdos control. Yeah, Rakdos Knights is good. Yeah, Rakdos Knights is definitely a good list. You didn't eat very much, Hawkeye. Don't you want to eat more? You need to eat more, buddy. We need to draw a red land. We're on the draw, though. We got 4, 8, 15. We have 15 red sources. We can still cast Carnival, so we still have one early removal spell. If we draw any land, we got Murderous Rider. I would be more worried about this hand if we were on the play. So obviously this looks like a Doom Foretold deck, which that can be a problem for us. Because Doom Foretold takes out Theater of Horrors. Doom Foretold can definitely be a problem. I 
I do not want to see Oath of Kaya. <laughs> it just kills Bone Crusher Giant so efficiently. Yeah, this this looks like yeah, this is probably a pretty bad matchup for us in best of one. I for the forces of good. Do I have anything in my sideboard for this? Graft Digger's Cage stops creatures. How is Dance in the Mance worded? Hmm. Oh, I guess it's Mance. I kind of think it may stop dance I will not stop but of course they have doom foretold they can just get rid of it anyway though Because if X is six or more, those permanents are four four creatures in addition to their other types. So they would they would be four four creatures in addition if X is six or more. And in addition to their other types, and Grafticker's Cage says that creatures can't enter the graveyard. So I think that would count as creatures entering the from the graveyard. So I'm I'm pretty sure, not I mean I'm not I'm not 100% or anything, but I'm like 60% sure that Grafteger's Cage would stop the four fours coming into play from Dance of the Mance. So I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly just not sure, you know, I'm not 100% sure either way. I guess like I've been saying. I could see that stopping it though. I understand it's a different sentence. It says put him into play and, and then and everything, but. Hey, Velvet. Um, if it if it lagged for you there, just just refresh the stream, and you should be good again.
Okay, so correct. So yeah, it does enter as creature. So, so Grafter's Cage would stop it. The thing is, is I don't have. You know, like the the Grafter's Cage would have died to the Doom Foretold, anyway. Um, so like, if I would have done that, like they would have just, you know, had the. If I would have grabbed Grafter's Cage, I don't think we would have been able to. Basically, I don't think we'd be able to have Grafter's Cage in play and have it work kind of thing, but that's good to know that it does stop it. So yeah, good to know that it does stop it, but that's still a really, really tough matchup for us. Our deck's designed to beat small creature decks, not Dance of the Mans. Yep, it's Monday. We're playing best of one. Yes, MC, they do. So that's why, so... Yeah, if you... For watching the, the uploads afterwards, MC, check out... You should be following along on the YouTube channel. That's what I recommend watching the videos. There we go. It's good to just have a regular shock kill the goose. But it's nice. Have legions end, so we have the information about what their hand is like. Also, need to find one of my four murderous riders or four bedevils to be able to take out Nissa. If I draw a land, I can also have Karn grab Spyglass. That does not stop Nissa nearly as well, but that's an option. It looks like that's the option we're going for. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Theater Fours and take another hit? Ugh, I don't know about that. Okay, so so y'all are one hundred percent sure that it does not stop that cage does not stop land. Okay, it's gonna land. Cage does not stop dance. Rise, my elemental friend. Wow. That's some okay, I was gonna say that's some. <clears throat> That's some car and disrespect right there. Spike Lass. Questing Beast. Huh.
Okay, so the reason why is because Wrath Digger specifically says creature cards, not creatures. So it says creature cards. So like last turn, if I would have cast, if I would have just cast Ritual of Soot last turn, they would have been able to tick this up and make another 3-3 three, three and then attack me for 7. Um, but then this turn I would have, no, I'd still be dead because I would have just named this and then Epic Downfall this, but the 3-3 three, three would still kill me. I need to draw a land here so I could sit and downfall or just draw, or draw a red burn spell. I guess, no, a burn spell wouldn't have killed this Yorvo, so I need to draw a land or a, <clears throat> or a Bedevil. It's still pretty tough. Nissa, you know, when you don't, when you don't draw... You know, I don't draw any of my eight removal spells for Nyssa. It's tough to beat Nyssa. You know, we have, like, the Spyglass that, you know, like, it just took it took too long playing Karn, getting Spyglass. You know, like, that just took way too long and too much mana. And Nyssa killed us. Thank you, mister. We'll put back the shock because even if they're a small creature deck, we have the Bone Crusher Giants, but then we also have these ritual. Like we have the Ritual of Soot also. Let's just put this and not shuffle because I don't really want to draw shock. Okay, getting Swamp now so that next turn we'll have Swift End available. I don't think we need... I guess if this is Flash and they play the 2-1 Flash creature... And not having Bone Crusher Giant could be bad. You do see a lot of small creature decks in Best of One, but we just haven't here. You do see a lot more small creature aggro in best of one, which is what I was really wanting to face. But we're 0 for 3 for facing decks like that. Yeah, I only have 24 lands in the deck because we have so, so many cheap spells. We don't need that many, and we play a longer game. I don't want to flood out too often. Then I have the Fabled Passages to, to thin the deck even more. Carnage was a really good draw. I'm expecting to get two good cards out of their hand. Eh. Not the best cards. Oh, 
Nissa. At least we had a, a removal spell for Nissa this game, but they had Thought Erasure to protect Nissa. Thought Erasure first, then Nissa. So we found a weakness of our deck. Nissa who shakes the world. I don't think that's anything different from a lot of decks, but turns out Nissa's good against control. Especially when you have Thought Erasure to protect it. Should have grabbed Mountain with this other Fable Passage with that second one. Hopefully we start dodging Nissa decks. Or have one of our eight removal spells for Nissa. One of the two. I mean we had one of course that last game, but Thought Erasure. Oh please don't be Esper Dance again. What are these matchups? My favorite playstyle is mid range. I'm just not even going to count this and go to the next one. I don't want to play that. Who knows, maybe we would have won that. It would have been a slog. I don't know. I mean, most likely we weren't, but I just didn't want to. All right, a small creature deck. Finally found one. Of 
course, I have Carnival and Bone Crusher Giant that can kill this, but the best case scenario is that we get a lot of value out of the Ritual of Soot. No, I, I haven't played a, a Storm deck in Historic. <clears throat> I guess I'm just saving three life. If I knew that I had... Sorry, sorry about that. If I knew I had the fourth land in hand, I would not have killed that Rimrock Knight. If I knew I was for sure I was going to be able to Ritual of Sith after taking another three damage. But of course, we weren't sure. And that thing being a 3-1 attacks pretty hard. Alright, Bonecrusher Giant. Go out there, play some defense. So I'm expecting them to have Rimrock Knight in hand now with that attack. It's better for us to be able to block and then see what they do. Ah, it's Bone Crusher Giant. Let's see what else they got over here. Inspiring Veteran and Tajik. Our opponent's deck's pretty similar to what we're going to be playing here in a little while with the Boros Knights. Yeah, Law, you're 4-0 you're with the deck that we're playing right now in, in Best of One right now. You probably had the be better pairings than what we had. But that's good to hear, of course. See, whichever creature they put the counter on, that's the creature we're going to be killing. Awesome. So yeah, you're 4-0 you're with the deck right now. There's certainly good stuff going on with the deck. We had some poor matchups and poor luck. Obviously, Nissa, Nissa of course, is just such a strong card that if you don't have removal for Nissa, you're you're gonna be you're just gonna die to a whole bunch of three threes, and that's what happened with two games, and then dance. Esper Dance, that just looks like a nightmare matchup. But I'm not really expecting to see a whole lot of Esper Dance. Don't really mind having that be a bad matchup. I 
No, I should not let... No, the Tajik... We can't let the Tajik attack that previous time because then they would be able to... Um, mentor on their 2-2 to turn it into a 3-3. Could play Angrass Rampage also instead of instead of Epic Downfall. Angrass Rampage is another option here, where Angrass Rampage would give us more answers to Nissa. Battle of the Rakdos decks. Spark Harvest is a sorcery, right? Yeah. Yeah, usually uh, green's my favorite color. Green, white, my favorite guild. Iowa. Bird, Iowa. Welcome. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. I fight for my purpose is greater than myself. So... Grab the Citadel. I kind of think it's either Citadel or Golos. I mean, yeah, we could have Grafty Girl's Cage for the cat. Eh. I'm not really that scared of the cat, to be honest. I'll grab Golos. All right, so that was our fourth sub of the day. Looks like I was a little behind. Yeah, we can play the cage that turn. Um, <clears throat> I think their deck probably can can answer cage. Uh, you know, we already we've already seen Angrass Rampage, which would make me sacrifice an artifact. They probably have other things like that. So, like, if Grafdigger's Cage does come up as a a card that my opponent doesn't like on the battlefield which isn't which isn't certain to happen but if that does happen then they probably have angrass rampage or bedevil or things like that also that can answer it What's up, Zerf? Cool. So I get an extra card out of Ritual Set. I did want to play Golos last turn because I didn't want to risk playing Golos. They play Chandra, make two elementals, and then have the Priest make me sack Golos. Ugh. So we're right back out there.
Yeah. Yeah, you should you should start going back to F and M Shadow. You've been wanting to go back to F and M, you should. That was a good turn for my opponent. That was a good turn. So, of course, getting a Fable Passage to be able to get another land out of the deck. So, basically, being able to have Golos be able to grab two lands. These little guys are great! Man, that other claim the firstborn turn was really rough. I guess if, if I cast Swift End and then Murderous Rider, I die to another claim the firstborn. That was just a, that was a pretty that was a pretty rough turn for me. Hey, Brainfly. So five, six, nine. So we have nine. Why do they say good game and not have lethal? Obviously, if they have anything at all, we die here. They may not have anything. Yeah, the, the, both of those claim the firstborns were really brutal. We have the epic downfall for the Bantu. I 
That was a great draw. My Tai Tai with the sub. Thank you so much for the tier one sub there. My, I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. So you can obviously see why the Witch's Oven was a really good draw step for them. I definitely think that, I don't know, I feel like I could have put myself in a better position than what I ultimately did. It looks like it looks like the Grafter's Cage was the correct thing, not the Golos. For how this this played out. They did not have any way to kill the Grafter's Cage, and they did bring the cat back a few times. Thank you, Ma. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, it was it was a three five that got it got us two lands basically. You know, like we we get we got two lands out of the deck, so we go grab the fetch land. But still, looks like the graft digger's cage needed to be the card for me to get. <laughs> Thanks, Brainfly. Those Clan the Firstborns, though, to take out my lifelink creatures with the Murderous Riders, those were, those were all brutal. Hello. Oh, yeah, we got almost a thousand people in here. Awesome. Hope everybody's having a good Monday. <laughs> Hawkeye is curled up on the couch right now, being a sleepy cat. Yeah, Claim the Firstborn um, is is really powerful in that deck. If you're playing Priest of Forgotten Gods, I think I think if you're just playing Witches of and you probably don't have enough sacrifice outlets. But we saw that with my opponent. We saw them also play um, play Crafter as well. Give them another sacrifice outlet. Same with Angrass Rampage. They can get you there too. Chipper fifty six. Getting back in here, currently on that three-month streak. Thanks for sticking with it. Our seventh sub of the day. All right, we have not gotten an early Theater of Horrors down yet in any of these games. Let's do that here. Let's get the early Theater of Horrors down. That's something that we haven't done this whole time. We don't really have the ability to use Theater of Horrors yet. It's not something, but it's basically just going to accrue cards over a few turns while we do other things.
So obviously I could shock them and get a land, but we'll we'll wait a turn. What if I play the Bone Crusher Giant and they have Ember Cleave? I mean, if I would have shocked them and played the land, then I would have had Ritual set for those two creatures. So, <clears throat> you know, maybe that wasn't the best play. I think Embercleave is the worst case scenario for me with playing Bone Crusher Giant right now. It's not the worst case scenario. That hurts, but not worst case scenario. So we're doing fine. I'm gonna hold on to. I'm gonna cast the Bedevil, not the Murderous Rider, because maybe we don't need to cast the Murderous Rider. Maybe we don't need to lose that two life. We'll see. Yeah, Mono Mono White wins seven zero. We're getting we're giving all the rank right back. Alright, I'm, I'm actually just going to be casting the Ritual of Set right now. I like just getting this out of my hand, you know, how it costs four mana and everything. I like just using that. Played Edgewall Innkeeper with no card draw. surprise <clears throat> so basically I can just spend five mana on or you know like spend four mana to be able to play to be able to grab a land and get the carnival um, yeah I could have got another theater of horrors in play Kind of feels like that last card in hand is another Domri's Ambush. All right, let's get another Theater Fours in play, and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be playing this Lifelink creature. I could be wrong. So 
So now we don't have to spend four mana for the Theater of Horrors trigger. And obviously we just have millions of cards. Theater of Horrors. So this kind of what all started by. Um, I probably have that Dahmer's ambush. Nope, not Dahmer's ambush. So yeah, this this all started by playing that turn three theater and just letting it letting it grow, you know, like getting the cards underneath them, even if we don't use them till later. Oh, bad auto tap. I can't play the Chandra now. All right, we'll just have to play the other Carnage. All we have to do is not die, and then our Theater Fours can do two. Or, of course, our Bone Crusher Giant can do too. Alright, so back up to 2 and 4. Good job, Shogo. You won a game with Happily Ever After. That's awesome. Good job. No, Karn only ticks up on non-creature artifacts. You cannot tick up Karn on a creature artifact. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know that Thero spoilers were coming out tomorrow. On the twenty fourth. I guess it's po yeah, I guess that makes sense they wouldn't. But no, I, I don't know any specific time there. I know we already played against Rafa85, but I don't remember what Rafa85 was playing. We just played against the, them just a little bit ago. Hopefully it was Boros. Yay, looks like it's Boros. I guess I don't have like the best hand against Boros though, it's just two bedevils. Oh no, was this Esper? Oh no, oh, they, they changed up their deck. Alright, they, they got a new deck. Yeah, more sagas. More sagas are going to be sweet. Just not even attacking with Starfield Mystic. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Hmm. 
think I want to just start the theater of horrors value engine going. I could see them playing Divine Visitation. They're trying to like have Divine Visitation. This thing goes and gets a spirit, but then that spirit turns into an angel. Awesome. Have fun, Benny. Of course, Othakaya will kill the Karn. It's either Meteor Golem or Citadel. I think we'll just grab a Citadel. They can do that to kill Karn also. No, I don't really care about this absolution right now as far as spy, spy glassing it. You know, like they have to, they can exile cards from my graveyard. That doesn't matter. They have to exile a creature card. Ugh, that's, a, that's annoying. That's annoying. So those cards are just an exile for good now. I don't know why I just played that land. I should not have played that land. Yeah, I just had a land here. That was, uh, that was I was thinking about what I was going to do with Karn whenever I just kind of did that. I should not have played that land. I wish Karn could grab Planar Cleansing. I know, enchantments are the Rakdos Kryptonite. Play some defense. down. Alright, let's just blow up this Absolution.
Okay. It's working. Ish. <laughs> Can you imagine being punched by a citadel? Definitely not. You are only hurting yourself. You will not threaten this world. More meter golems. Give me back this theater. We'll get attack with a theater next turn. Uh, opponent flooding out. Solutions must be built. All right, so Citadel hits them. Theater finishes them off. Okay. Back to three and four. Meteor Golem. Being a powerful one for us there. Okay, so we saw that we, we had a weakness to Nyssa, in particular Nyssa and Esper Dance. Those were our two weaknesses. Um, Nyssa, you know, we have the eight removal spells that kill Nyssa, but sometimes you don't have those. Could play Rampage instead of Epic Downfall. That helps your Nyssa matchup, but uh, hurts stuff like Jun Sacrifice, like where they have, where it's like really hard to make, make them sacrifice like the creature that you want to um, or just a lot of the aggro decks like they can just sacrifice some creature you don't really want them to sacrifice instead of the one that you want them to um, but it's good against planeswalkers so that's that could be an option there rampage instead of downfall or just splitting it one and one that's something we could do there too to have an extra um, an extra planeswalker removal spell um, <laughs> we have a weakness to Nissa, said no one ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there we go. Uh, that was still pretty fun. You know, Theater of Horrors is fun to play. A uh, bunch of cheap removal is fun to play as well. And that's what our deck did. All right. Uh, there's Rakdos Control. If you're playing this later on YouTube, let me know in the comments how it's working for you. Um, let me know if you like Angrass Rampage more than Epic Downfall. Um, or if you'd rather, like, you know, other options, of course, are like Lava Coil, Scorching Dragon Fire. Those are some other cards. Um, even uh, Bedeck. Bedeck's not bad. You can just have it destroy lands against other things, too. There's a lot of things for, like, those two slots or maybe the, over one of the Carnivals. But the Carnivals were good for us. I liked them. I usually like Carnival Carnage. I think that's an underrated card. All right, uh, but yeah, also for y'all on YouTube, hit that like button over there too. But thank you so much for watching some Rakdos Control, and I'll see you for the next video.